Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm talking about the hair pulling experience of trying to find the right adapter to go from your mixer or from whatever device you have into your iPhone just to use your iPhone to stream to Facebook or to record your podcast or whatever you gotta do. It is something that you can figure out. In fact, I figured it out for you. Stick around, I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so before you go, Put your comment in this video. Are you pulling your hair out trying to find the right adapter? Well, I have them all right here. The ones that I've bought and rebought and tried to figure out and lost and bought. I've got also the headset headphone buddy, which is really a killer thing that you might want to pick up too. So I'm going to show these all to you. First of all, when you go out of your mixer and try to go into your phone, you can't just take this little uh, eighth inch out into your phone. But to get to your mixer, first of all, you're going to need whatever your mixer is. Now I have this mixer, which has a stereo out, so I use this, this cable, a very long 20-foot cable. You go on Amazon and you put on there quarter-inch cable out to eighth-inch, okay? You just, and, and it'll come up. I got a 20-footer because I wanted it to be long. So I come out of my mixer, but now I gotta get into my iPhone. Now first of all, this is probably the most, uh, the, the most important adapter of all. It is a Rode, it is a tip ring sleeve to a tip ring ring sleeve, TRS to TRRS. And I had a church talking to me last week and they were saying they had everything right, but they just needed this little adapter. So do yourself a favor, order this little adapter, this little road adapter right here. If you order this little adapter, it will probably solve most of your problems, okay? You can take any headphone jack like this, plug it into here, okay? This is just your out headphone out and then it puts it into your iPhone. So you obviously have to have, if you have an iPhone, you have to have this little adapter. You plug that adapter into the road, and then you can plug pretty much any signal into your phone. Okay, so that, that is how you can do it. Now, I did a video on the Headset Buddy, which is really a level attenuator. It's a line level attenuator because coming out of a lot of this equipment, it's too loud, it's too, uh, too much signal to go into the, basically into the input of the iPhone. So this is what, this cable is really brilliant. This cable is probably the most brilliant cable I've found. It works very easily, and it actually does what the road does as well. As you can say, as you can see, you plug a line in here. Okay, so you would plug your line in here, and it comes out, tip T-R-R-S, okay? It comes out with what the iPhone needs. Also, inside this little bullet right here, however they did it, they attenuate the signal down so that it's not as loud, it's not loud enough. It's not too loud is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't blow your iPhone out. What it does is it makes it the right level to plug in. So you go from whatever you have, your little, your little output from your mixer, into the head, headset buddy, uh, and then you can go with your little uh, iPhone, annoying little iPhone white thing into your iPhone, and then you can go stream to Facebook. The last one, and it's the first adapter that I ever had, was this little adapter. I got it with Audio-Technica, uh, sent this to me when I bought one of their lab mics. And I think this is uh, really a, a really good little adapter. What it does is it splits the signal of, uh, for the iPhone, tip, ring, ring, sleeve, and it gives you a, a, a microphone in and a headphone, okay, out, basically. So you can plug this in, but this thing is a little finicky. I'm not saying it, it does work like on your computer. Sometimes it's worked on my phone, sometimes it hasn't, but it allows you to listen to your headphones, uh, have a headphone out and a, and, a, and a microphone in. So if you were using a laptop, you could plug your headphones in and be listening, not to, not to your lapel mic, you'd be listening to like your headphone jack of your computer. And then you can also split it out. So if your computer doesn't have a sound card, on it, like, an, like my Mac only has one hole for the headphone, then you would need this if you want to do an individual in mic and, and listen to your headphones. So this is more of what this is for. Uh, for your iOS device, I'm not really sure. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of finicky in terms of whatever equipment you're using. But when you're using anything like the Rode mics or especially what, in one of my other videos I'm doing what I'm using now, the Rode Mic Pro or the Rode Mic Video Mic Go, those have just a two tip ring sleeve out, like a mic input. You have to have this. That's what, that's, what, that's what you have to have if you want this to work with your iOS device. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Check around the channel in this playlist because I'm showing you how to use your mixer. I'm showing you how to get into I, I, uh, iPhone. 
go live. I'm showing you how to do those things and get good audio signals. But I know you have questions. Every single setup is different, but just go back to the basics and try to do your tests. That's the one big piece of advice. Test, test, test before you hit the live button. That way when you go live, you've got good audio. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video.